comes to the art of cake decorating, it doesn't get much better than my next guest. Please welcome baking sensation and cake maker to the stars, Mitch Turner. <laughs> you are very welcome. Mitch, I'm I'm, I'm, excuse you. me, am I going to make that in six minutes? Is that the idea? It might then? take you a little longer little. than six minutes. How long did it take you? Uh, it took me from start to finish two days. That's not bad for a cake like that. I've been doing it for 25 years, though, Alan. So it's 25 years in two days. 25 years in two days. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Now, you baked for the Queen. Tell us about the oh, Diamond Jubilee cake. Oh, my goodness. Well, I've been... Diamond Wedding cake, That's right. Um, yeah. I've been fortunate enough to create cakes for lots of high-profile people, yeah. but Her Majesty the Queen, it was her Diamond Wedding anniversary. Do you mind if I keep working no, on No, keep rolling. <laughs> That's fine. I've heard there's a cookie monster in the house. I know. Oh, God. And I've heard yes. it's <laughs> But a cake, so you know. Um, so the, rather a spectacular cake for the queen. It then. was. It went to Buckingham Palace to celebrate oh. her diamond wedding anniversary, oh. and I took inspiration. It was a gift to her, but I took inspiration from the jewels that she had on and her the design on her wedding dress, and recreated the embroidery in oh. icing on a cake that Wonderful. went to Buckingham Palace. How oh. nice, oh. lovely. Don't eat the train. Now then, <laughs> just before, so you oh, just wrap that on there. What yes. was underneath it? Underneath that was the chocolate orange torch. Yes. Chocolate so, orange torch. Oh. It's a chocolate cake that's made with melted chocolate to keep it nice and moist. But how do you and stop this cracking? It's, it's not going to crack. Pure, look, why? What, what's the secret? <laughs> okay, the secret is to work quite quickly. Yes. To really make sure that you've kneaded the paste well. Only use um, icing sugar at the point when you actually come to roll it out. So you're not adding extra icing sugar into to the paste. To dry it out. Which yeah. would dry it out. Right. And then you trim it at this stage. This is quite a thick layer of icing. If I had more time, I'd probably do it a little bit sliver. But then the secret is, because I put this cake on a board that's the same size as the cake, I'm going to lift it up which allows me to smooth it and this is how you get those really lovely straight sides down the I side. I bet you're brilliant at plastering too. I've never had plastering but don't think I'm, um, I'd like you to start cutting out oh. a butterfly. Right, Alan. so that, now these, they're this beautiful. This is what I want you to create. Cake there. So I'm going to do that. This is cheating really, isn't it? Well, it's using a number of different techniques. You're going to cut out and then I'm going to ask you to paint the detail onto the butterfly and then you're going to pipe some pearls. <laughs> So it's a case of you've oh, got not a... much then. You've got, <laughs> you've got I've got a... my butterfly. Right? You've got to sing for your supper. So I'm going to paint it now. Paint it out, and you see what I've got here is a little bit of the colour dust. So this, and, what is it? Um, it's dark black colour dust mixed yep. with some dipping solution. So it's effectively yep. like alcohol. Okay. So it dries off. Right. And, and it's usually it's a great way to introduce people into cake decorating because um, holding a piping bag can be quite daunting, but holding a paintbrush is a little bit more familiar for yes. people. Right, okay. So it's something that you know, doing a beautiful hand-painted cake can be uh, can be a wonderful expression of your personality. It's not laughing Mr. on the Titchner. front row. Really, really <laughs> Concentrating that, Melanie. Putting me. There we go. So I'm just going to. This is a little-known little 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 species from uh, Western Asia. Is it? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's called the black striped orange oh. butterfly. So I'm going to pop that tear on there. You just carry on there. I'll just carry on. I'm going to put some ribbon around here and then I'm going to make some roses. I know, I know you're a bit of a horticulturalist, are you not? You can say so that. I've I can heard. possibly comment. No. Oh, nice. but I've, been, yeah. I've, been, I've taught probably, oh my gosh, thousands of people in my time. Right. And, um, you know, to sort of different elements of cake decorating. But I've lost my piping bag. Oh, now. sorry, I stole is it. it there we go. Right. You can have Spots it back. On it, right. okay. Actually, this is turning into more of a moth. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, Alan, that's fine. Ooh, no. But the idea is that um, with, with a little bit of knowledge that you can create some wonderful things. You can. And here yeah. is... So the cake's ready for you to pop your oh, okay. butterfly on. What are the on? mistakes that most people make then when rush. they're doing this kind of... <laughs> when, they rush, when, they're, when they're making, it's rushing. No, she tells it's, me. You have to make sure that when you're making cakes that you really take your time when you're doing every element of the stage of baking. Is, is temperature important? Do you have to be either... Is it cool kitchen, yes. hot kitchen, what? Uh, it's more about the temperature of the ingredients yeah. you know that most people know that when they're making an egg when they cream together the butter and sugar um, the egg that has to be at room temperature to maximize the aeration and when you add the egg because I'm a food scientist when yeah. you add, when you add the eggs they're added at room temperature again because eggs are like a, an elasticated protein <laughs> doing marvelously stop laughing I'm trying to <laughs> concentrate I don't think I've ever uh, interviewed anybody when I've been so Concentrating so hard on what I'm doing oh. that they really have to get on and do it themselves, oh, really. that's OK. Yeah, it's more of a moth <laughs> mine. Yeah. Well, I've been running Little Venice Cake Company for the last 15 years, and we've made over 10,000 wedding cakes in those oh. times. So we generally talk all the time that so we're working. Any disasters? Um, oh, I had one once where I was delivering... Beautiful. Pop it just about there on the cake. Can you fix it into position? Sort of sliding off. Yeah, like just that. sort of over the side, yeah. That's it. 
delicately tucked okay. in. Yeah, go on, you're Brilliant. a disaster. Um, oh, well, I was carrying a cake into one of the central London hotels. Yeah. And uh, it, was, um, it was a cake not too dissimilar from the height of this one. So I was carrying it, and it was revolving doors <gasps> as we went. <laughs> And I got Did you stuck. come out the other no, end? No, I got wedged. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the doors holding the cake and I couldn't move forwards and I couldn't move backwards. <gasps> and they had to send for maintenance to come and undo the doors <laughs> to extract me from the doors. Rather like that story of Jesse Norman, the large opera singer. Are you making rose there? Jesse Norman, the large opera rose. singer, trying to get through a swing door. And the doorman said to her, why don't you try sideways? And Jesse Norman said, honey, with me there ain't no sideways. <laughs> 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 so you're making what now? I'm going to make a rose here. I'm going to make one of these roses. Oh, look at these. Now, we're, gonna, we're talking horticulture. You're absolutely right. I mean, these we're going to fix these perfect. onto the cake yeah. with some icing to finish off. So I've just used some sugar paste right. and I'm just folding these petals around Separate each other petals. to create it and shape it. Again, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> folding Again, these petals. Again, right. this is not my first time. Right, we've got and about 20 seconds like, left. Well, I did. Um, Paul McCartney's wedding cake had over 200 of these hand molded roses. Name on. dropper. Did. Well, I was about to say which wedding, but that would have been <laughs> indelicate. <laughs> My son asked me that and said, was it his first wedding? <laughs> oh, I said, not quite yes. that old, darling. Popular. Right, we've got right, it. We've got uh, in position. Room so. as it, we have some very hungry monsters waiting to admire your creation. Okay. Against my better judgment, <laughs> <laughs> let's go and join them for a civilised afternoon too. Oh, the leaves are going on there. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that instant leaf. Wonderful. Using the right nozzle. We've we got to take it over now. Can okay. you cope with that? Yeah. One more on there, OK? Right, you, you carry it, because I'm not going to And don't get stuck in the swing doors, OK? okay? <laughs> well, on we go. Guys, come here. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Now, what do you cookie monster? What do you think of this cake, eh? Oh, me love it! Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to be to it. Show. You can have a cookie. That's all. Here's your cookie. Oh. Have a look. Hallelujah. Cookie! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mitch's new book, Mitch uh, Turner's Do It The Right Way Up, Alan Cake School, is out now. And uh, as a pupil of hers, a former pupil, I can recommend it. My thanks to the monsters and, of course, to Mitch. Thank you very much for me. Yeah. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. Delicious. Absolutely exhausting that was. <laughs> so, what, did, what I didn't ask was what's in the cake? What's on the It's it? chocolate orange. It is chocolate orange tort, so it's made with melted chocolate in the cake. Oh. Steady on. Oh. <laughs> and lots of fresh orange. Oh. <laughs> Look, so it's really good. You can have one of these which has got chocolate in it. I'm not letting you cut into that. There you go. All right. <laughs> That's oh, it for today. No. I'm back tomorrow with Dr. Tim Pickett Smith, Jane McDonald, and Dr. Linda Papadopoulos with her Battle of the Sexes. See you then. Bye. Oh, yeah.